And moving on to some arts news, with fall upon us, the art community has reaped up its engines with a slew of, of exciting exhibitions and events. Now, most notable is the Gwangju Biennale, which takes place here in Korea. Our Im Yoon Hee has a look at this year's installment along with another top-tier art exhibition. It's a rather odd scene. A jumble of horses, soldiers and flags. American artist Edward Keenholz was a foundational installation artist, and this is one of his rare works, created with his wife Nancy. It's just one of the many meaningful and unique pieces to this year's Gwangju Biennale. Even though these works address political talk, spiritual talk and social talk, they also satirize politics. The 10th edition of one of Korea's largest art gatherings has brought in some of the most abstract creations from all over the world. They all fall under the theme of burning down the house, which incorporates the idea of burning and transformation, and the process of finding hope amidst the ashes. And though the artworks are united under a theme, each displays a flair of creativity and the extraordinary, as the Gwangju Biennale will remain open until next month for people from all over the country and the world to see what this year's artists have in store. Historical treasures from the Chosun Kingdom. They serve as both artifacts as well as works of art. Traditional Korean artwork includes anything from paintings to the art of the beautiful moon jar. This one flawlessly created in the 18th century displaying a perfectly rounded, almost seamless creation. And here, one artist has recreated the Korean Peninsula and the millions of lives that together make up the country they call home. Another artist captures somber feelings of depression and tragedy on the canvas, while other world-renowned artists show illusion and a sense of the contemporary through their use of various different mediums in this unique collection of both international and Korean artists. But here, art isn't just for the eyes. One artist incorporates the audience in a performance-type creation, while other artists create an experience for the audience to walk through. From Korean to foreign artists, from the contemporary to the classic to the traditional, art is a bridge through both time and space. Im Yoon Hee, Arirang News.